The Stanford Natural Gas Initiative was established to optimize the utilization of natural gas. As recently as 10 years ago, it was thought we were running out of natural gas in the United States. Thanks to horizontal drilling and multi-stage hydraulic fracturing, it was demonstrated that we could actually produce natural gas from some formations that had been known about forever, but the permeability was so low that gas could never be produced economically before. We now know that we have an abundance of natural gas. We probably have 200 years of supply of natural gas around the world. Now, we're not gonna use all the natural gas we have but we can use the natural gas in a transition from the energy system we have now to the decarbonized energy system of the future. Natural gas buys us time during this energy transition. It buys us time for wind and solar and other renewables to get big enough that they can carry a large fraction of the baseload. So really, it's not natural gas instead of renewables, it's natural gas until renewables are of a scale that we can stop burning gas as we originally stopped burning coal. Let me say at the outset that like the other members of our In 2011, I served on a committee for the Department of Energy to address a question asked by President Obama. Could these resources be developed in a way that protected the environment and public health and safety? And our committee answered back, absolutely. There's no question that these resources can be developed in an environmentally responsible manner. Stanford is uniquely positioned to carry out the kinds of research that need to be done to optimize the use of natural gas. One of the goals of the NGI is not only to figure out how to get the gas out of the ground more effectively, but to make sure we do it in an environmentally responsible manner. That doesn't only mean what's happening at the drill site. It also means what happens to the gas once it enters the pipelines and goes to processing plants, compressor plants, and eventually is distributed you know, through pipelines across the country and throughout large cities. The Natural Gas Initiative is set up as a corporate affiliates program, which means it, is, it receives financial support from companies, private individuals, foundations, and other entities. It pools those resources, and then we distribute those resources to Stanford faculty on a peer-reviewed competitive basis. There are two projects going on looking at the optimization of hydraulic fracturing. Hydraulic fracturing is very important to get the natural gas out of these very low permeability reservoirs. So there are several research projects that are going on that are actually trying to optimize the use of natural gas and actually convert it from a gas to a liquid. Having these gas resources gives us many more options in energy strategies and affects energy policy. And we have uh, several projects that are assessing the economic impact of having these gas resources and then the implications of those uh, economic impacts and what it means for, for policy and regulation.